What is this? <laughs> no player models. I'm just gonna shoot in the area and hopefully it hits. I killed him! Let's go! So we checked out CS2 on a powerful PC with a powerful CPU. But how does it run on the ROG Ally? Let's find out. We're playing at 1080p here at 30 watts. Lowest settings. No FSR though. And we are sitting at 110. Going through short. Game does look quite nice, even though it is the lowest settings. Oh my god, trying to aim is <laughs> is insanely difficult. So you can use the controls, it does work, but obviously there's no aim assist and it will take a lot of skill to actually play well. Nice, that's a kill, we'll take that. He bought a Negev on round two, that's insane. I do have two overlays running, the Asus one and the Steam one. The Steam one will show us the average FPS and our lowest FPS on the graph. The first number is the average and the bottom number is our lowest FPS. So the average so far is 117, but it does like go up and down. It isn't for the entire run. And for the Asus overlay, we can see our clock speeds and the usage for the CPU and the GPU. So yeah, it does do pretty well. Haven't felt any stutters so far, at least I don't think, but it is very difficult to play with the controls. Let's try again. I will stay in the same areas for most of the game because I want to do a side by side at the end. So for T side, I'll be going mid and long most likely. This is scary. So on this round, the average FPS has been 125 and our lowest has been 37. It isn't the most competitive, even if you have a keyboard and mouse, but it's definitely playable if you're playing just a bit of comp, just for the fun of it. All right, guys, FSR active. You can't kick me. I wasn't even AFK for that long. I can't sneak. No, I can't really sneak actually. It is just, it's behaving like a keyboard and mouse basically. <laughs> oh no. I can't buy grenades or any of that because there's just so many items to go through. I'll just have three. So I can scroll down real quick. I'm in danger. Wow, I hit that. Go away. Oh, I'm getting cracked now. Let's go. So since we have the GPU headroom here, we can go ahead and increase the settings. So instead of playing at low, we can play at medium. Wow. Wow. Okay, we got two. We'll take that. I mean, yeah, this entire time it has ran quite nicely. It's very much playable. Um, it can fall down to like 80 FPS. So it's not ideal in that aspect, but it's definitely playable regardless. And on the CT side of the map, it does do better. I think we're sitting at 140 on average. Whereas at T-Spawn, it was like, I don't know, 110 to 120. Hey, easy. No, I could have had that guy too, dude. I'm trolling. My aim was a bit off. Not doing too bad, to be honest. I got nine kills. The guy above me has nine as well, but more damage. And the guy in third place has 10 kills. So I'm not doing too bad. Not sure how it's going to run on SteamOS, to be honest, because with the Steam Deck, I was having a hard time. So I'm not too sure. The last time was at the launch of CS2, I believe. So it has been quite a bit. But yeah, back then... It was having a hard time running on the Steam Deck. So yeah, check up on the performance. We're sitting at 160 FPS on average on CT side. Lowest point has been 41. And the GPU is at 70% and the CPU is at 40% basically. Let's pause the game here guys, play at 15 watts and see how far the FPS falls. And 15 watts. So far at 1... 120 basically up here. Standing back here, falls down to 97. I think I'll play short because... If they're far away, I can't see them well, and trying to aim is extra difficult. For the most part, it should be <laughs> quite good. This guy's getting... Oh my god, long. Go, 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 go. Come on. Well, we tied, somehow. My ADR is 51. <laughs> it could have been worse. So yeah, I'll see you guys with SteamOS. Let's see how we go. Ooh, nearly got the drop. Silver Elite. 
let's get it. So SteamOS is already off to a bad start. There's no in-game audio at all, and my character's missing. The keyboard keeps coming up. That's also another issue. But the sound should be fixed now. There we go. The sound is fixed. It is kind of funny because this is Valve's game on Valve's OS and it has way more issues than it does on Windows 11. It's like a similar thing with Android and like the YouTube app and the Authenticator app. They are way better on iOS versus Android. What is this? This is unplayable. <laughs> no play models. Okay, let's look at the settings. Maybe I can... Can you go away with the keyboard, dude, please? Okay, there's a guy there. I'm just gonna shoot in the area and hopefully it hits. I killed him! Let's go! I tried looking at a fix, but this seems to be an issue with the new update on Linux. Keyboard keeps coming up and the models are invisible. So it does run better, obviously, but that's because there's no textures. There's a guy there. I killed him. Let's go. Two kills. I tagged the third guy. Okay, there's a fourth guy. That didn't... Yeah. We'll take it. Okay, somebody left on their team. I hope they, uh... I hope they surrender, to be honest. No one's out here. Okay, I think I'm safe. Oh! Oh! Alright, 900p, guys. And... Honestly, feels the same. 160, 170. Cool knife, the paracord. Come on, please forfeit, please. Oh, it's a party of five, dude. Nah, he's coming back for sure. That sucks. Nope, no one's there. Somebody's here, top mid. Yep, I couldn't see his gun that time. And he one-tapped me anyway, so... I think I dinked him, I think I dinked him. Come on, tell me I dinked him there. Wow, one bullet hit for 57. So it was a dink. Let's go, guys. We got the win. They forfeited. So there we have it, guys. That is CS2 on Windows 11 and SteamOS. For this one, I would skip SteamOS. It is just too unstable. So many issues. It is just not worth it. If you're playing docked, I would pick either 1080p or 900p. 30 watts. And you should get around like 80 FPS up to 110. I think if there's smokes and fires going on, and if you're in the water, for example, the FPS might fall even lower. If you're playing in 720p, that's also good, but it will look worse on a bigger screen. So keep that in mind. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time for the next video. See you guys there.